to learn how to record our voice using the Audacity uh, editing and recording uh, menu. And then we're going to learn how to save it uh, to our desktop and then how to place it into Flash. And finally, we're going to learn how to edit that sound clip in Flash. Okay, so let's begin. I'm going to open, now that I've gone to the Audacity website and I've downloaded Audacity to my computer, it's now on my desktop. So now I'm going to select it right down here on my desktop and I'm going to open uh, the program onto my uh, desktop. So let's do a nice new <clears throat> Audacity uh, recording here. Now at the top of the screen here you see that you've got some buttons and on these buttons you need to uh, make sure that you use them correctly. Uh, we're going to use the, this little red circle as our recording button and uh, to stop when we want to stop recording uh, we use this button right here this nice little sort of yellow or beige square button uh, to end and stop the recording. If we hit the pause button or select it, uh, you can still record even though you're paused. So you don't want to do that. So we're just going to do a simple test here and we're going to uh, record. To play back is your play button here and uh, to go all the way back to the beginning or the end of your recording uh, you have uh, your your buttons here to, uh, to go ahead and do that. Alright, let's go ahead and record. I'm just going to do a little test select the button and testing testing one two testing testing one two three and let's in that now I'm gonna play this back so I can hear it select the button and testing testing one two testing testing one two three and there you go so now uh, we're all set to go and we want to save this to our desktop now we want to save this uh, this little sound clip right here as a wave file a WAV file so what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to our file menu, scroll down to export, and we're going to export as a wave. And once we do that, what we're going to do is we're going to name this uh, test. So let's go ahead and just name it as test. And you can see here that we have saved this as a wave file. It's going to be saved to our desktop, and we have named it test. I can also uh, just call it test sound. And there we go, let's save that. All right, now we basically need to go and find our sound wave. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna close Audacity. I've saved uh, my file to my desktop, so let's find it. Let's put this down on the desktop here. And there it is, there's my wave. Okay, I've, I've saved it. So what I wanna do right now is I'm gonna open it up in iTunes. I can do that and check and see it. Testing, testing, one, two, testing, testing, one, two, three. And let's, there you go, so you can hear it. Why did it save to iTunes like that? Well, that's my default uh, sound player, so that's why it saved there, and that's where I can find it to make sure it did actually record and save onto my computer. So now let's open up Flash. And what we're going to do next is uh, create a new just a, a new blank document just to show you how to put this into Flash. So we're going to go ahead and say OK here. And now we have our new Flash document. It's ready to go. Uh, let's go ahead and create uh, some keyframes here. Uh, I'm just going to come out here to number 75 keyframe, insert a new uh, keyframe. And now I'm going to select frame number one so that when I place my sound clip, it'll, it'll add in from where it's going to begin from frame one. So let's go ahead and find our file and import it. So we go to File, Menu, Import to the library. And once our little uh, window comes up here, our menu, we make sure we're on the desktop. Yes, we are. And let's go find our uh, test. And there it is, Test Sound Wave. Let's uh, select it and import it to the library. It should take just a second for it to import. And there you can see that the uh, our little color wheel there is spinning and thinking. So it's going to take that sound clip, and there it is. It just dropped into my library. Now I can take the sound clip, drag it onto my stage. It's going to start on frame one. So let's go ahead and drag and drop. And there you can see that the sound wave has added onto my layer. And let's go ahead and select frame number one here. Let's just go ahead and play this for you. Select the button and testing, testing, one, two, testing, testing, one, two, three. 
and let's there you go and you can see that it has added now what if I want to edit the sound clip that I just put into flash well I'm gonna double click with my cursor on the sound layer that I've just created and I'm gonna have my properties panel uh, down here at the bottom of my screen and when I double click on this the sound layer you can see that my uh, sound my properties panel becomes uh, active for my sound layer. You can see test sound wave. That's my sound layer. And I'm going to edit it. So let's select the edit button here. Now you can see the sound wave with my voice. And let's say I wanted to end at frame 35 and just have it shut off. Well, I'm going to uh, grab frame number 35, and you can see that my frames are selected here. I can see my frame numbers, so I can just scroll out to frame number 35. What if I had uh, select section selected? or seconds selected, uh, then you'd see how many seconds here. So you'd have to figure out how many seconds it displays and where you want to shut off. And then you have to figure it out mathematically uh, how many frames per second you have. So let's just use frames. That's easier. So I'm going to go out to frame number 35. And I'm going to uh, shut the sound off right at 35. So I'm going to take my cursor and this thin black line here. I'm going to come right up here, add a little anchor point right here on this line just like you would in uh, Adobe Illustrator and then add a second one. Notice that the same thing is happening on the line below or the sound below. <coughs> and now I'm going to drag in this down, this second anchor point down. And as you can see right now, the sound is going to slowly fade out or I can uh, drag it back and have it just shut off altogether at frame 35. There we go. Let's do that. Select OK. Now let's go ahead and rewind to the beginning of our sound clip and play and we'll hear that it shuts off at frame Select 35. Button and testing, testing, one. There you go. And that's how you do it. So, uh, good luck to you in this lesson. Come see me if you need help or email me and good luck to you. I hope this uh, lesson helped you today.